Weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. It has been an awfully warm February in general, and we have crescendoed with two straight days of highs in the 80s in Huntsville. That has never happened in the month of February before these past couple of days. Uh, so unprecedented it does describe what we've seen recently, but we are going to get back to uh, typical February weather uh, as we head into Friday. Still a warm night out there at 70 degrees light winds out of the northwest and since we have a northwest wind that tells us that the cold front has just passed through Huntsville and as that continues to move to our south cooler air is going to start to fill in eventually we will fall to the 50s late tonight well, that's what you're going to see when you wake up tomorrow morning and actually that is where we'll stay all day tomorrow is in the 50s uh, so say goodbye to the 80s for at least the time being right now on the way 31 storm tracker early warning radar network might be a couple sprinkles here between Madison, Jackson and Franklin counties in Tennessee. Uh, this is where the front is located right now. So sometimes when you have a front passing through, you can get some biological things like bugs uh, being scanned on the radar. So that might very well be what the radar is scanning right here. Uh, but that is where the front is located. It's going to continue to drift southward as we move through the night. Uh, there had been a couple of showers up in Franklin County earlier this evening, a couple more down near Etowah and Cherokee counties at this moment, but most of us are dry right now. That front continues to push south. It moves the warm, humid air that we had today to the south as well. Cooler air settling in late tonight and into your Friday. You can expect a mostly cloudy sky tomorrow. As far as the rain, it's not guaranteed everyone gets rain. Our best chance is probably going to be during the afternoon tomorrow. Let me walk you through it. Pretty quiet for most of us when you step outside tomorrow morning. Again, cloudy and cooler. And then the scattered showers start to develop in the late morning and may stick around for parts of the afternoon. Latest modeling kind of backing off on how widespread that may be. Good chance that we'll have rain on Saturday morning in Tennessee near the Alabama Tennessee state line as well. And then again, as we head toward the afternoon, some scattered showers will be possible across the Tennessee Valley. It'll be around that time that we'll have our best chance of rain over the weekend as we head toward Saturday night into Sunday. Yes, still possibilities of some rain here and there, but it come, becomes a little bit less likely as we head into the second half of the weekend. And this is our latest from model run of future radar. And it's uh, kind of again backing off on the rain potential for Sunday. So we'll watch out for uh, a bit of a cloudy and cool day on Friday. Temperatures stuck in the low to mid 50s virtually all day long. That's uh, about a 25 to 30 degree drop from the highs we saw yesterday and today. 57 in Gunnersville, 55 in Decatur, only 54 degrees in Muscle Shoals. Saturday does look a little bit warmer, but still a mostly cloudy sky with passing showers. 63 on Saturday in Fort Payne, 62 in Huntsville. It does look like we will warm back up as we head towards Sunday with highs generally in the upper 60s to low 70s as we wrap up the weekend. More of that spring-like warmth is likely most of next week. There's going to be a fairly strong cold front that rolls through on Monday, giving us a good chance at showers and thunderstorms. And then the stormy pattern will return later next week. Right now we have a 50% chance at some showers and storms as we head toward next Thursday.